directly above. They've got a beat on them. I see them right now. Skydive Suffolk jumpers will be out first. Once they're out. They will then, the sky then will then climb to 10,000 feet for the jump by the Black Daggers. Three swoop shoots. Extreme parachuting is what this is called, when they'll be free falling at 120 miles per hour. to you, 
the 11 members of the Black Daggers. Team leader of Special Forces Green Beret, Master Sergeant Travis Alfred. Sergeant First Class Aaron Fiegel, he's an Army Ranger. Master Sergeant Chris Malone from Civil Affairs. Staff Sergeant Sean O'Toole, he's a parachute rigger. Staff Sergeant Kurt Loder in the Support Brigade. Star Sergeant First Class Chance Carrico, a Special Forces Green Beret. As is Sergeant First Class Wes Cato. And Sergeant First Class Josh Franey and Sergeant First Class John Morales. Another Ranger is Staff Sergeant Steve Travers. And from Civil Affairs, Staff Sergeant Chris Hardy. Let's watch them as they steer left, pulling on the left steering line. Steer right, pulling on the right steering line. And as they near the ground, pull on both steering lines at the same time for a tiptoe target area landing. With this breeze, it gives them great hang time and the ability to control their descent making it very, very easy on each guy, gently collapsing their canopies as they clear the target area. High and above. A couple of jumpers are still up above and are doing what is called canopy relative work, where they fly two parachutes together with a top parachutist being the being responsible for the direction of flight and the bottom parachutist being responsible for calling out altitudes as they descend. Make some more noise and bring the black daggers in. <laughs> Flying a downwind along with the wind like an airplane would be at a typical airport traffic pattern, then a 90 degree turn in uh, crosswise to the target and then turn inbound for their final approach. High and above, we see the two stack with the smoke. And higher than that, we see what I believe is another two parachutists doing what is called a side-by-side -side and setting up for a down plane. The mission of the Black Daggers is to perform live aerial demonstrations in support of Army Special Operations Community Relations and Recruiting. Although they're capable of performing both high altitude low opening and high altitude high opening jumps, the principal technique demonstrated by the Black Daggers is the high altitude low opening form of stealth insertion used to land troops and equipment behind enemy lines and that was first conducted in combat during the Vietnam War by the Military Assistance Command Vietnam Studies and Observation Group. Four jumpers still in the air. Two jumpers working together in the side-by-side. -side. Now as these last two jumpers near the ground get there, watch the jumpers high overhead. I believe what they'll do is turn it into a down plane where they will reach 90 miles an hour going almost straight down toward the target area. Let's see if they'll do that or if they'll hold the side by side. No, I think they're going to hold it in the side by side all the way in. Held together by a strap because the forces trying to pull them apart would exceed the ability of a person to hold together. Watch for the break. This takes a great deal of trust between the jumpers. Look at the hang time there. Ladies and gentlemen, the Black Daggers!